Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing of the Blue Yeti microphone. Now, of course, I've covered this in the past because it was my microphone of choice for the channel up until Hurricane Matthew destroyed my Yeti. That was when I picked up the smaller version, which I have right here, uh, which is more expensive and in many ways more versatile, but... As of late, I just was not happy with my audio quality, and I decided to return to the Blue Yeti uh, standard mic, which is what I'm recording this on right now. However, um, I did want to pick it up in a specific color, which is the one you're about to see, which is the Lunar Gray, and expect these to go on sale as time passes. Of course, each color uh, sells better than the other, so usually silver, the colors that have been out the longest are usually the least expensive. I remember last Black Friday we saw, I think they went as low as like $70. That's usually where they bottom out. Of course, retail is roughly $130 US dollars. Uh, with that said, let's get this thing out of the box and see if the Lunar Gray is exactly what I was looking for. I was very interested in the blackout, uh, the whiteout, not so much. They've got all of these new colors. I mean, the blackout isn't so new anymore, uh, but I wanted to see what it was like. So let's see if I can get the package going, packaging to pop. And uh, again, I do think that if you are trying to do any sort of podcasting or vlogging, this is really your best bet. I get so many questions, people wondering what type of microphone I use. You know, they speculate, they think I've got some incredibly expensive rig here, uh, or I'm using something from Rode. Uh, I'm not. I've always used Blue Yeti, except for at the very beginning. If you go back to my videos at the start, I was not using a dedicated microphone. Then I moved on to a Samson uh, mobile mic, which was definitely superior. But now, of course, I have been using uh, Yeti microphones for some time, and I have never looked back. So first thing you're going to see out of the box, of course, is the mini, not micro, USB that Blue Yeti still uses. Now... Eventually, I'm assuming that'll change um, with the smaller version it already has. So at some point, maybe uh, Blue will change their manufacturing and bring us a micro version. For now, I don't see that happening anytime soon. Let's see if I can get that out of the way. And here is the Lunar Gray. Nothing else in the box, just a styrofoam party. Let's go ahead and get rid of that styrofoam if possible. It is really wedged in there. And, you know, I get a lot of people asking me whether or not this is good for streaming um, or, you know, traditional use. And my answer there is, is that, you know, it's fine for using for streaming. I'm trying to get this thing to, to move, but it is incredibly tight. Uh, but I personally think that unless you're going to get this mounted, as I'm trying to bring it around, it is just... I don't know what's going on here. So tight out of the box. This side should loosen, but I can't even move it. Uh, back to what I was saying, if you're gonna use it for streaming, it's not really my number one uh, choice unless you're mounting it. If you're not gonna mount it, then fine, so be it. Apparently I can't even, I cannot actually get this thing to move. Maybe in this position it'll loosen up. Yeah, there it is. Brilliance. Okay, so. Now you can take a look at what the actual color looks like. So basically, we've got the stand, the base from the blackout model, uh, paired with a, as it's dubbed, a lunar gray finish. Now, I like this for my studio uh, for multiple reasons. Most of my studio furniture is black, and while the blackout may seem to make sense, um, I do have a lot of gray as well, uh, borderline silver. So I thought this was, a, you know, the best combination aesthetically. Uh, again, I do like the blackout a lot, but this has uh, got more of a metallic uh, finish, kind of like uh, the paint finish you'd see on automobiles years ago that became very popular. Now, of course, matte is in. Uh, sometimes that looks great. Sometimes that looks like crap. It really depends who does the, uh, the finish. But, uh, of course, all of your I.O. ports are at the bottom. The mini USB jack, the headphone jack for monitoring, your volume knob right here for monitoring, uh, your mute button. Uh, of course, these knobs that you saw me just getting frustrated with control the actual position of the microphone, and then you've got gain, and then your pattern, the mode in which you 
plan to use it, whether you're going stereo, cardioid, whatever you want to do. I mean, I generally, as you may have already been able to guess, am a cardioid, uh, cardioid guy. That is how I record all of my audio. Um, and for those of you wondering how, you know, my voice sounds the way it does, that's uh, it's my voice. I don't know what else to tell you. So I get a lot of questions about whether or not I'm putting it through a filter or using something special. I'm using the most common mic on YouTube. So for those of you wondering, that's how good uh, the Blue Yeti is, or that's just my voice. I don't know what to tell you, but no secret sauce here other than the man you're listening to basically right now, because again, Blue Yeti is literally the most common microphone that people defer to. Now, um, this isn't really a comparison, but maybe I will do a video in the event uh, anyone is interested. I know comparison videos have been done before. Uh, the reason I picked up uh, the smaller version, even though it's twice the price or roughly twice the price, I think it retails for about 200 was because to me, what I heard initially was nearly identical, uh, identical audio quality, but of course in a form factor that could travel. This is not something you want to travel with, the regular Blue Yeti. It's just, it's massive. Whereas when you're working with the mobile version, it really is night and day. Do I love the red and silver design? No, but it's fine. It's got, you know, it looks like, uh, much like most of Blue's uh, microphone products, it looks like an old uh, microphone. It's not, I think it's nice. You know, it has all the same feature sets that, or feature set that the Blue Yeti traditional model has, but it does come at the expense of its fidelity. And I expected it to have the same audio quality as the full size blue uh, and obviously be paying for the form factor. But in the end, it's just a little more shallow, a shallow, a little less full uh, in terms of the audio quality than what you're going to get out of the full size blue Yeti. So you're getting still one of the best mics in its class, but you just simply are not getting uh, in my opinion, the same fidelity that you will with the full-size Blue Yeti. So if you guys are interested, go ahead and uh, throw some comments down there, and I could actually do uh, audio samples from both, you know, edit them together so you can see them side by side. But if you've watched any of my videos for the last, well, since the my, my home got destroyed by Hurricane Matthew, so really all of last year, they were all filmed on this microphone, recorded on this microphone, what you're listening to right now, again, is the exact same model as this, just in a different color. So uh, that kind of should answer the question. Uh, and then, of course, how much I play with the gain obviously does amount to something. But overall, the fidelity and, again, just how pleasing to the ear uh, and also the capability of isolation that the full-size Yeti offers is just far superior to the small one. Now, if I'm traveling, this is still going to come with me in case I have to do any kind of reviews or podcasts on the road. Uh, I would not want to carry one of these around. I did that once in my life and swore never to do it again. But again, if you're interested in a side-by-side, -side, I could probably pull that off. That's not too bad. But if you want to know immediately, just go ahead and look back at videos from literally a few months ago compared with uh, the last, I would say, all of this past month. Uh, where, or not this past month, but the last, let's say, five, six videos, all of my RX100 Mark VI coverage has been shot back on a full-size Blue Yeti. But that pretty much rounds things out. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button, and as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.